Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. We are back with some more Minecraft survival series here on the Nintendo Switch. In our last episode, we worked on the road. We tried to set up a farm, which is... It, it looks like it's kind of failing, dude. It's not really working right. But you know what? Let's go put some stuff around it so it looks nice. Er, how about that? Can we do that? And we have food. We need food. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day today. It's morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I hope it's a good one. Um, been working in the server with K569. It's been going pretty well, dude. We have put in our... Uh... Oh, yeah, I got my pressure plate. We put in our um, nether, nether world portal thingies that lets us travel between the dude we need food so bad you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go raid the village i'm just gonna pop these stones down as many as i got try to make the farm um, a little more presentable oh god it's almost nighttime too crap but uh server's going good um i just came off of playing a game of diablo where i am attempting to Get my witch doctor to run a higher GR there. Oh, we got eggs. So with these eggs, what we're gonna do is actually throw them now and see if we hatch more chickies. Huh? <gasps> we got one. Huh? <gasps> we got two. Look at that, dude. Little little guys. That's awesome. All right, we better take a nap. Actually, you know what? Let's run. Let's run to the village because that's where we need to be. And let's see how our road is doing. Oh yeah, it looks nice, dude. A little, a little woody. But you know what? That's okay. You know what we might do on these trees here that are next to each other? We might put arches. Wouldn't that be kind of neat? Just put little archways so that none of this foliage grows over it. That doesn't seem like... Okay, why did I just hoe that? Okay, that's fine. I wanted to use the shovel. Did not have the shovel. Still have a bunch of crap equipped that I don't even want to use right now. But we're running to the village. Oh god, there's a bad guy. Swords out, dude. <gasps> Looks like we're fighting. Okay, we're just gonna whack people. He is wearing chainmail. I wouldn't mind having it. Got it. Whoa, it's enchanted too. <gasps> That's pretty neat. Okay, let's th wait, wait. Put it up, dude. Take take your shot. Shoot your shot. You're gonna have a bad day. Oh, that didn't feel good, did it? Nope. Keep going. Yep. Come on. You, this is like the game of why you're hitting yourself, right? Okay. We're going in. Ouch. Nailed it. Got him. Alright. There's a creeper here, too. I gotta try to kill it. I don't know if I can, dude. Oh, got it. Spider. Alright. Well, I don't have any food, so I can't really do this. Ooh, there's a key. I can't really do this for long. We gotta find a bed. Uh, we should have stayed home. It was a mistake to leave. Oh, we're going to have to wake somebody up. Excuse me. Hello. Okay. There is nobody here. Okay. That's not good. Okay. Um. Next. House. Where's my old house? Didn't I stay here for a spell? Like when I started this world? I believe I did. Here we go. Nobody's home. I'll take this one. Well, I was playing Diablo and I was wrapping the video up and I was like, geez. Minecraft is, like, the most peaceful game if you want it to be. I mean, obviously, playing hardcore survival is a little more uh, challenging to the peace department. But you know what? It's still a pretty dang fun experience. Wow, there's nothing here to harvest. Dang. What are these green ones? It's just, it's just junk, dude crud um can i eat this fish raw cod could be a bad time why did i pick up those seeds oh i kind of want those seeds though but let's should i put this on thorns one let's see if i get more okay so that gives me half and then if i put it on what do i get I get a little bit of bump, but no thorns damage. Let's just run with the enchanted one, because it looks cool. Look at that purple shirt, dude. I like it. 
We have a lot of iron. Oh, there's some carrots. Okay, carrots are what I need. Let's try to eat this. Ugh, this is nasty, dude. Do you guys remember, like, Lord of the Rings when Gollum was, like, eating all that stuff? Here we go, dude. We're just taking all these carrots. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'm taking these carrots, and I'm actually going to go plant them at my own place. Maybe I should just harvest this farm. Ooh, beets. Not like, you know, beets by Dre, but like, you know, beets the... You know what I mean. Beets are cool because... Ooh, potatoes. Oh, potatoes are my jam. Okay, what are we throwing out? I don't want any of this garbage. Dirt, go. I need to make space. Do I need grass? I don't need grass. Okay. Potatoes are the best. Maybe I should just build my farm like this. Look at this. This one actually works. And it's got a little composter. Okay. This is good. Carrots, a bit, of, a bit of a slow way to get your health up, but hey. Once we get some potatoes going, though, dude, we can bake those bad boys. And it'll be nice. Anyway, back to what I wanted to talk about. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, games and mental states, not and specifically uh, having more games to play than you have time for, how that works and how that affects you, right? So right now, I have a billion games. There's a ton. New games come out, I buy them. I don't care. Um, mostly because I just want to be one of the cool kids, and I think a lot of people fall into this camp. And they want to be part of the conversation, right? Because that's just what you want. Uh, you don't want to be... There's this concept called uh, fear of missing out. And uh, that hits me pretty hard a lot of the times. I felt it the hardest recently with God Eater 3. And I know that in the long run, it doesn't matter, right? God Eater 3, I wasn't going to have time to play it. It wasn't a huge, giant AAA hit. And nobody was going to care, care about it after a week. And that was absolutely true. No one gave two shits about God Eater 3 after a week, right? They, and nobody does right now. Um, but dang, was that hard. Like, I would add the game to my cart, and then I would, like, not check it out, and then I'd be looking for deals. And it was almost like this addiction, right? Almost. And, uh... You know, I certainly should save the money. That makes the most sense, right? I mean, it's pretty brain dead to keep buying stuff that you're not going to play. Unless you're a physical collector, that's a little different. And I mean, I am kind of, but like, I'm not pretty hardcore about it. Not as much as some of the other guys. But I do like to have my physical games. I will always take a physical one over a digital one. I just, I'm old school, and well, I'm old. And I like to, you know, hold stuff in my hands. Because, you know, dude. And, uh, it just feels better to me. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do? So, are these are all carrots, right? I believe these are all carrots. Yeah, these are all carrots. Now these are all going to be carrots. You know what? This farm isn't too bad. Everybody's wet. They just need time to grow. Maybe I should plant some torches here. Get a little, like, extra light on things, you know? Yeah, we'll do that. And that that random guy, you know what? This is going to be our special carrot patch. Boom. There it is. And we can hoe all these. I think we can... Should we hoe all this out? Yeah, dude. Let's just plant potatoes here. I like the idea of tons of potatoes. Potatoes have been super great to me um, in the survival world. Or the, the server world, which is survival world. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, we have a lot to do. Okay, this is going to be good. What can we throw out here? I guess we'll throw out these seeds for now. I want to save the tree blocks because we might need it for something else later. We'll see. But I'm going to plant as many of these as I can, and the rest are going to get baked. Because a baked potato doesn't take a ton of energy to do, and it gives you three three little food thingies those little beef thingies there three of them that's pretty good pretty good did i put an upper floor on this thing oh i did dude man i love this little house it's so cool all right let's put our leafy boys up here we could try to finish the road but we'll worry about that later 
Um, we had some seeds. Oh yeah, we can start a beetroot garden for sure. Maybe we should. All right, where am I storing armor? I don't know. Was it down here? This is like the miscellaneous whatever box that holds all the stuff that I got no place for. So some carpet, some. We'll put and we'll put the extra armor in there. Get some beets. I think we can eat those. Um, I'm not using a bow yet, so we'll keep those in there. We'll keep our sticks over here. We're going to keep our wood, too. Just because it's good to be able to make sticks later. And I don't I don't have one shovel. I used all of my shovels. What a bummer. So we're just going to put our miscellaneous fences up there, too. And we're going to keep the iron because we need to make a shovel. Uh, where's that shovel? All right, let's see. That's not the crafting table. Two of them in here. I can't even find one. All right. So we're going to make... I want to make these shovels. I've got some dirt. Do I have extra buckets? Oh, yeah. We need to bake those potatoes. Pop them in, dude. Can you bake the beets? No. You can't. But we can make a pretty kick a beet farm with enough seeds here. So we're just going to continue adding to our farm plots here. We're obviously doing the raised garden bed method. Oh, let's not forget our stuff up here. And you got to be careful when you're trampling on your farm here because I think if you jump on it or if you sprint on it, look at those carrots, dude. Uh, you will hurt it. You got to be careful about that. So where do we put the other farm? You know, we could kind of just pop one right here and just use this water down here. Should we do that? No, I don't like that. I mean, it would be useful, but no, no. We're not doing that. I hear a drowny boy. Wow, I have an egg. Should we try to hatch it? Anyway, back to the backlog where we build this farm. Uh, it's hard because you get all these games and it's very much oh sorry oh god just hurting everybody okay 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 you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna feed these seeds here if you feed seeds to chickens they will make more chickens and if you feed enough seeds to a baby chicken it will magically transform into a big chicken before your very eyes look at this boy do I have enough? I don't. Bummer. I could feed him the beetroot, but not gonna happen. I probably should have planted that wheat, but you know what? Those chickens, they were hungry fellas. Alright, let's bust out our shovel here. So you have the games, and then you have the anxiety of not finishing them, like Astral Chain. Weighs heavy on my mind, dude. And I guess I'm in a bit of a unique position because I want to play games for the channel at the same time. So every time I am using my game time the question in my head is should i be recording this should i be recording this i can't play that right now because i need to record it and i can't record right now because whatever and then it's like okay it's time to record do i have the energy to do it no great now i can't play that game again and so i try to keep games that are for me that i like to play some usually early in the morning or like late at night but lately it's just been defaulting to Minecraft, like, all the time, just because it's so chill. Ooh, looks like we can plant some more of that sugar. Definitely gonna do that. Till we have a big old sugary mess. And it just occurred to me I could have left those there, but I did not because I am a silly person. Alright, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna leave... How big are these? Three? Three with one down the middle. Okay. We can do that. And then we skip one because that's going to hold water. Skip one. That one holds water. Skip one. That one holds water. So it could be this big, but we're making them four big, aren't we? Is there four in there? Oh, no, those. Yep. Okay. Four. We're making them four big. Wait. Yes. Sorry. I forgot my... I forgot my... My brain died for a second. Okay. So we're gonna need our bucket. We're gonna need a lot of bucket, dude. And you know what? We're gonna make one other bed right here too, because we can. Uh, same size. 
I don't know what this one will be. One of these will be beets for sure. Maybe some more carrots. We'll see how it goes. So there's just a lot of pressure, right? And a lot of it is so unnecessary. Wow, this is off, but you know what? Do we care? Oh, dang it, yes we care. My daughter would kill me. Oh god, here we go. We got friends. We got friends. Hi. Hi. Oh jeez, we better eat some more carrots. Feels good to have food, dude. So we're gonna f we're gonna rock this bed. Just finish putting it together, and then we'll take a nap. Then we'll take a nap. So then your backlog piles up, and then you start to feel bad because you have games that exist in your library that you haven't even touched. A lot of those for me are like some shmups that were recommended to me, or ones that I found. See, I really want to, like, take the time to be good at harder games, but I don't have it. And I think that's just the rea my reality. I mean, the last game that I really dedicated myself to that was hard was Dark Souls, and that was a super rewarding experience, but it had nothing to do with the channel. Like, I recorded the ending, but that was it. But I took that game exclusively for me. Which was okay, right? I mean, it was really fun. I would say it was an accomplishment 100% in my gaming career, if that's what you call this. And uh, I don't regret that at all. That was really fun. I loved it. And I highly recommend anybody play Dark Souls. This was the first one, by the way. All right, let's go take a nap. Just so we don't have to worry about nasties during the day. All right, let's, uh, hey, Bane, how's it going, man? I ate your fish, bro. I'm sorry. We'll catch you another one at the end here. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will get one for you. Wouldn't that have sucked if I threw the water on the bed? So the question becomes, how do you manage it, right? How do you manage the stress? How do you manage the backlog? Do you? And, you know, it's all, it's all personal preference, right? A lot of people will just realize, okay, this is what I do, and that's okay. I can afford to do it, and one day I will probably get to it, and if I don't, my kids probably will, which is probably my case. Or maybe when I'm, like, retiring, right? Because we, we're we in a unique age where we don't have a generation that grew up on uh, video games in the modern age like the modern incarnations of them, right? Like we don't have people who grew up with consoles that are now 80 or, you know, 100. Oh God. So this is like the first generation, my generation, that is going to be old and like still gamers, right? I mean, sure you have like older people who have assimilated into it, but I mean, we're talking like, I grew up with it, this was my childhood. This is what I've always done. We don't, we have never had that before. So it'll be very interesting to see what us old folks are like, right? Are we even going to care? Are we are we still going to garden, you know, still forget things all the time? I mean, obviously we will, but will our gardening be in Stardew Valley and Minecraft? Or will we actually, uh, you know, take up some, some real stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I think... I don't think we will, actually. I mean, we might explore it, for sure. But as far as, like, investing a ton of time and... Okay, why isn't this... Sh why does that keep happening? All right, let's, um... Let's plant some beets here. Let's get the beets down, and hopefully we can grow something. There we go. Do I have enough for this? I probably don't. It's okay. We'll plant as many as we can. And then the rest will be carrots. Lots of carrots. Okay, what else can I plant here? Uh, I do have some seeds, so we might as well just plant them. Sorry, chickens. And then the rest, more carrots. And then when those potatoes are going, we're going to have lots of potato beds. Uh, I've got to be careful here. I don't know if I'm going to plant them all. You know what? That's fine. Good. Look at this dude. How beautiful. We planted, we went to the other town. That was basically all I wanted to accomplish. 
thought about maybe we could get some diamonds one of these days, and we will, I just don't know when or how. It might be one of those things where I have to play it on my own and sort it out. And then come back and be like, yo, look what we did. While you were gone. I think that's the way. But you know, you get to a point in the survival series where it's like, okay, we're surviving. Uh, now what? So you gotta like, invent shit to do. And some people are better at that than others. I'm not very good at it. Mostly because I play Minecraft for relaxation reasons and not uh, competitive reasons or crazy content reasons. I'd like to. That would be pretty neat, right? Some of the people that I like to watch on YouTube and Twitch, right? They're 100% Minecraft people. They have been forever. And that's just their life. But you know what? I'm sure they get bored of it. Everybody gets bored of everything if they've done it long enough. And eventually you find ways to try to make it fun, or ways that you deal with. But, um, there we go. Just trying to fill in some holes, man. I'd like the landscape to be a little more pretty around here. Oh, man, chickens are hatching some eggs. Look at that. See? You get a ton of chickens. Now we can just toss these eggs in here some more. Man, we might need to increase the size of this pen here. Let's try to find something to throw it in, okay? Oh! I don't know if we hatched him or we smacked him. Jury's out. Jury is out on that one. Alright, let's go fishing for something for the kitty. Let's go hang out up here. The music is nice. We built this big old porch to do this, so let's do it. Where is he? Bane? Hey, bud. Come upstairs. Hey. Come upstairs. We're going fishing. Come on. You coming or not? Alright, jeez. Freaking cats, dude. Alright. Yoink. Alright. You know what would be cool is if we caught a saddle. Imagine us having a beautiful ass horse. That would be nice. Oh, that's a little too close. A little too close. Let's get it out there. Make sure we get in. I'd like to get it near that deeper water. So for me, <clears throat> excuse me, geez, I try to set some goals, right? Um, in the Let's Plays and also in, you know, running through the games that I'm going to be acquiring, right? Darksiders 2 is coming out. Um, there's just so much stuff. But I'm happy to report that the Halloween game will definitely be the Ghostbusters Remastered. Because it comes out October 4th. And that is going to be fun, dude. I love Ghostbusters. And that game looks amazing. I never got a chance to play the original. So I'm going to play it for the channel. Hey, buddy. I got you something. Hold on. Yeah, they're not really biting here. here. Oh, there we go. Here, here. Hey. There you go. How's that? Good. Here, you sit there. And I'll get you another one. What a great cat. You need a friend, huh? I saw another cat in the village. I think we're going to go grab him for you. Let's just get a couple more fish. I bet we could get him. We absolutely could get him. A bone? Who catches a bone? Well, I got the inventory space to to deal with this. So Ghost, Ghostbusters will be awesome. And then Luigi's Mansion. I would love to do Luigi's Mansion. Three for the... Ch oh, God, dude, yes. Believe, dude, next episode, we are finding ourselves a mighty steed. I think the next episode will be all livestock. I want to build some, some stables. I want to build a place for pigs. And I need to mine some redstone, because I know how to build the um, automatic wool generator, which is on the server. I built like four of them, dude. I'm harvesting like all kinds of different colors, like purples and oranges and yellows, because you can dye the sheep, right, the white sheep, into other things, and then the wool that you get from them is a color. Boy, are we done here? This is pretty slow. I know, dude. I know. Hold on. 
Uh, we also need to make an anvil so that we can get a name tag. Okay. Are our fishing days over? All right, Bane. Come inside, dude. Come on. Hey. Let's go. I don't want you hanging out out there. Hey. Cat. Get in the house. No, 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 no. Bad kitty. Where does he go? There he is. It's like they have an invisible leash, right? So, to round this out, Bane. Sit. Good. You sit there. And I'm gonna go try to snag you a friend. Just real quick. Let's go see if we can get the Baney boy a friend. And that orange kitty looked pretty cool. The question is, can I get him with two fish? I don't think I can. Bane took a lot of fish and I had to trap him. It was like some kind of cat blackmail. But hey, could happen. Stranger things have happened, especially in the world of Minecraft. You never know what you're going to get, which is the beauty of the game. All right, where's that cat? All right, oh, there's a good looking horse. Do we want that guy? There's a creeper too, that's not good. All right, let's see here. Cat, 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 cat. Uh, have you seen a cat? You know, about yay tall. Oh, screw you too, bud. Okay, there he is. Oh yeah, he's a good looking cat. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. Got blue eyes. Nice. Come here, bud. I have something for you. Feed it. First try, dude. Let's go. Come on. You know what? Such a good boy. Come on. Let's go back home. You coming? He's coming, dude. Look at him. Sweet. I'm so happy that only took uh, one fish. Didn't have to blackmail it or nothing. Am I sprinting? I am sprinting. I turned the bobbing off so I can't tell if... It's not easy to tell if you're sprinting or not. Okay, just grabbed a random tree. That's cool. Yeah, dude, there's no way we can do this without having to put, like, some kind of... Maybe a roof on this place? That actually might be okay. If we put a little roof on there. Make, like, a little archway. That might make it look really nice. We'll see. First, we gotta get our new boy home. Introduce him to the family. And the name. We don't have a we don't have a name for this boy yet. We will. I don't know what. We'll see. Mm, maybe having those steps in here with a cat is bad because then they can leave. Yeah, we're just gonna take those off for now. Hey, come here. Hey, Bane. Check it out, dude. Here, come here. Check it out. Hey, guys, look. Behold, the first meeting. All right, all right, hey, 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 hey. Let's love each other, everybody. Okay, well, hey, you go explore. And you get to know your new friend. Or you just sit there on the box. What is in that box that you love so much, catnip? Oh. Look at him. Hey, guys. Yep. Oh, not a carrot. That's not what I wanted. There we go. That's what I wanted. Hey. Just me and the cats, man. If you have an idea for the cat name, leave it in the comments below. And uh, maybe we choose it. This guy was super easy to get, so his origin story is kind of boring. But he is cute, isn't he? Look at him. Or she. Don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, the next episode, we are taking our saddle to the limit, dude. And maybe I will take some time and build this little archway in our tree. Tree area there. Maybe get some diamonds, some redstone. You know, maybe build a stable. I think building the stable is something that I'd like to do as well. Just put it, like, right out there. Finish up the farms. The world is coming along. We got food, we got friends. What more is there? 
Be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.